unfortunate events, please welcome former 12th president and nominee for the unluckiest knee replacement recipient of the year, uh -oh. Linda Spear with her speech entitled, What's Wrong with Linda's Flair? <laughs> <laughs> COVID, many of us learn new things. I learned how to get knee surgeries and recover from them. I got a total of six surgeries, and this is my story. Now, if you've ever contemplated having knee surgery or knee replacement surgery, please don't let my story sway you from not getting that done if you need it. This is a knee replacement horror story. Most don't turn out this way. So please keep that in mind. Thanks to some unfortunate genetics and years of running, my knees had given up. I had to do something. So I decided in December of 2019 to get a knee replacement. I went into surgery thinking, I've never had anything bad happen to me from a medical procedure. Why should this be any different? Well, that was my first mistake. Well, my first three months of recovery went well, I kept saying to the physical therapist, it feels like something's slipping. She said, well, you need to talk to your doctor about that. So I did, and he said, well, you've just got weak muscles. <sighs> and I said, I was active and athletic before my surgery, so I'm thinking I'm invincible, and you're telling me I'm weak. I didn't like it. This went on all year long, the year of 2020, in fact. The swelling never went down. He would drain it and the swelling would come back. So finally, after the year of this, he said, we have no idea what it is. Let's go and take a look at an arthroscopic surgery. <sighs> He'll probably be on crutches for a few days after that. I wasn't happy with that answer. He hadn't done any testing and I didn't want to be on crutches again for a few days. So I went to another doctor. In fact, I went to multiple doctors until I found a revisionist, a doctor who revises bad prosthetics, who diagnosed me with a globally unstable prosthetic. He said, listen, we need to go in and do major surgery to open this thing up. I've done a CT scan, I've tested you for infection, and we don't see anything. We don't know what is until we find it, until we open you up. If we find a major issue, you may have to get a full revision. That means take it out and put another one in. Also, the chances of infection are increased when we go back into a prosthetic. He said, you have to be aware of all these potential outcomes and risks. At this point, I was a year and four months post-surgery with a painful swollen knee and unable to do the things I had done before. I said, let's, okay, let's do it. And what did he find? a catastrophic failure of the prosthetic, to quote his report. In other words, the plastic piece in the middle had come disconnected from the metal piece, to make it simple. Which means one, either one of two things. Either it was put in wrong, or the device failed. He replaced the plastic piece and hooked it in again. So I go back home, ready to recover again. But two weeks later, I got an infection. Back to the hospital for emergency surgery. He says, we're gonna clean it up and spray it with some special magic medicine and you have a 50-50 chance it won't come back. <laughs> okay, so back home I go. This time with a pick line in my arm to administer daily antibiotics for two months at home. And I got a new IV pole, which was kind of new furniture. I learned about a doctor called an infectious disease specialist He's pretty busy though. We're in the middle of COVID. Don't hear much from him. <laughs> then guess what? Four months later, the infection comes back. <laughs> so back to surgery again. This time they take out the entire prosthetic, the metal, the plastic, and all of it. And they put in spacers, which are some sort of in inserts full of antibiotics. I spent the next three months with spacers in my knee and the doctor telling me, don't bend your knee too much. <laughs> I had a new pick line installed, got my IV pull out again, and went through two more months of antibiotics at home. 
finally, in April of 2022, I had my final surgery to put in another knee replacement, and that was successful. During all this drama, my other knee was taking a beating. <laughs> it also needed a replacement. That was done in January of this year, just nine weeks ago. In all, I've had six major surgeries to get two good knees. You may ask, did you go to an attorney? The facts are, orthopedic malpractice cases, as I learned, are difficult and costly to prove, unless you've lost your leg, lost use of your leg, or lost your life. <laughs> However, I did report this to FDA.gov, where you can report medical devices that you have problems with, public service announcements. So. If you ever need to report a device, a medication, they do keep a database on all these kind of things. So one day, I may get that call that my prosthetic has been recalled. <laughs> and Morgan and Morgan will welcome me with open arms. <laughs> I don't know if there's a moral to this story, other than sometimes in life you get unlucky and bad things happen. You hope medical procedures will go well, but sometimes they don't. While my story is uncommon and probably would not happen to you, I'll be happy to give you advice on how to be self-sufficient after a knee replacement surgery. How to get through your house, feed yourself, clothe yourself, clean up, all while you're recovering. I've got a lot of experience. Thank you.